Hi everyone, my name's Jason. Uh, I work here at Auckland Zoo and I'm a member of the Animal Experiences team. And today, in my hand, uh, I have Bluey and I've got another lizard to show you afterwards as well. Now Bluey here is a blue tongue skink. Now blue tongue skinks are really common uh, in Australia and they can be found in a lot of different uh, varieties, sizes, shapes. Uh, now Bluey here is an eastern blue tongue and we can tell that really easily. And it's mainly just by the dark scales on Bluey's back here. Now on the east coast you can get a little bit cooler than say the centre of Australia and those dark scales actually help them to warm up in the morning. So when they'll go out, they'll kind of sit out, wait in the sun until all their blood is really nice and warm because when the sun shines down onto those dark scales, it actually helps them to warm up really quickly, which is really important when you're an ectotherm like these guys, meaning that they're cold blooded. And you might be wondering, why are they called a blue tongue skink? Now Bluey here has a really nice, lovely colored blue tongue. So not too surprising as to how they get the name. Now that blue tongue is actually really, really important. Now you'll see Bluey constantly sticking um, his tongue out. Now what he's doing with that is actually just smelling or sniffing the air. Uh, but it's that lovely bright blue color uh, that's really, really interesting. So if these guys are ever in trouble, if there's ever an animal that wants to eat them, what they'll often do is open their mouth up, stick their tongue out and hiss at their predators. Uh, and in nature, bright colours can actually mean danger, they mean stay away, they might mean that they're venomous or poisonous. Uh, so a lot of animals will actually leave these guys alone when they see that really bright blue tongue. Uh, now that actually doesn't work uh, to keep them safe against all animals though. Uh, so sometimes they actually have to run from their predators. Now if you have a look, uh, Bluey here has quite small legs, quite a big body. Uh, so running isn't always the best option because they're pretty slow. But what they do to keep themselves safe if they do need to run away is sometimes they'll actually make their tail fall off. So these guys can drop their tails just like your common garden skinks can here in New Zealand. Um, and they'll leave their tail behind and the predator will hopefully just focus and eat that tail uh, while the animal runs away. Now these guys will grow back their tail uh, after a little bit, but it takes quite a bit of time and losing your tail is actually a really big deal because um, if these guys can't find any food to eat, they'll actually live off the fat that's inside these tails. Now in terms of things they like to eat, they like to eat flowers, weeds, um, small, slow insects, uh, and snails in particular. Snails are a great source of food because they're not very fast uh, and they're a nice big meal for these guys. Now what I'm gonna do so I'm going to pop Bluey away and I'm going to bring out another animal. Um, so we'll be just a sec. So right here in my hands I have Cyril. Now Cyril here is a bearded dragon. Um, he's actually a central bearded dragon. Uh, Many that they're found in the centre of Australia. Uh, now these guys are really well adapted to living in the middle of Australia. So what you might notice is there are some orange scales all over Cyril's body. Now normally that actually is really good for helping them hide away in the sands of Central Australia because the sands are often orange um, or red soil. Now what you might notice about Cyril at the moment though is that Cyril has really really dark scales, they're almost a kind of black colour. Now that's because Cyril's a little bit colder today so they'll make their scales go dark um, and they'll use them to actually uh, warm themselves up so just like um, Bluey was before Cyril will actually darken his scales uh, and help himself uh, get really nice and warm because the sun will shine down on those dark scales and help to warm up his blood which is really really uh, helpful for him. Now you might be wondering why are they called a bearded dragon? Now they're called bearded dragons uh, not because they have a beard like mine, their beard is a little bit different. Uh, Cyril here has a really scaly beard. Now this scaly beard uh, we'll keep him safe because when a predator wants to eat him, what he'll do is open his mouth, puff up his cheeks, and that beard will get really, really big. He'll actually change the scale's colour so they go really, really dark. and makes him look really big and intimidating. Now, if that doesn't work for them though, they do have another trick to keeping themselves safe. Uh, and that's actually just by the way they look. So what you'll see is that Cyril has lots of spikes all over his body. Now an animal will look at that and they think, well, that's not going to be very fun to eat, is it? Um, but as you can see, when I touch them, they're not actually painful, they're not prickly. It's just a way of making themselves look more dangerous than they really are, and it can help keep them safe. Now Cyril does uh, have a really big, long tail, uh, which you might be able to see here. He's got long toes and claws there, and his legs are actually pretty long as well. Now, just by looking at those things, you can actually tell that Cyril's a really, really quick 
very, very fast animal. It's been very wriggly in my hands today, but if he really wants to run, he can run really quickly. Now those long legs mean that he can lift his body up off the ground, uh, so his belly isn't rubbing along the ground as he runs, uh, which means he can be very, very fast. But once he gets to a tree, that's when he can really show off how good of a climber he is because those hooked claws that he has on his toes, uh, and he's got some very long toes there, help him to hold onto the bark, uh, to help him to climb up that tree. And that big long tail that he has actually helps him to balance as he's, uh, as he's climbing up the tree. So a really, really uh, clever, clever little adaption to help him out uh, in the wild. Now in terms of the things he likes to eat, he'll actually eat some of the same things that uh, Bluey eats as well. So things like weeds, flowers, some fruit that falls from trees, some smaller insects as well. But because Cyril's a lot faster, he'll actually eat things uh, like insects that are really, really quick. He'll actually also eat some um, small reptiles as well, so little skinks he might eat. Uh, so these guys have a bit more of a varied diet to a blue tongue skink. Um, and they'll eat things that are a lot faster because they can chase them down and eat them. Uh, now I'd like to say thank you very much, hope you'd enjoy, um, and I'll see you all around. Thanks guys.